If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got a bunch of notes and news from the, uh, from the Madden side of things. We do got a few, some cool news, some fixes, some bug stuff. Some updates. We got a bunch of stuff, so I want to make it all into one morning video. Figured it'd be nice to compile it all for you guys. We got some stuff content related, some non-content stuff, some bug stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna go through all of it, guys. And as far as the, for the giveaway winner for the gift cards, I've not picked one yet. I will pick one in one of today's videos. So make sure that notification bell turned on, guys, so you can get alerted whenever I do post a video. And uh, yeah, before we get into the news, guys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, boys, can turn, uh, join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always, and let me know down below what you guys think of this news. If you're excited, give me some predictions for some stuff I'm going to announce. But yeah, let's get into this, guys. So, for the first news, we do have the way more ledges coming this week. If you guys didn't know, usually legends are only on Saturdays, but since this is the first week, I guess we're going to be getting some nice midweek legends. So, I think they did this last year too for the first week, but we will be getting them Wednesday. So, as you guys see, we did get eight the first week. Now, this wasn't your typical legend drop, this was more of like just the base opening day legend drop. Which usually comes with the game, but I guess since they were behind, they put it out as a Saturday thing. And then we'll be getting the regular Saturday Legends on a Wednesday. So, we'll be getting through this Wednesday. And if you guys didn't know, the way they're going to be doing this is there's going to be two LTDs. And then the set legend. So, there's going to be one LTD for each set legend. Which is just considered like boss legends, I guess. The way a boss legend does work, though, is they're pretty much just a powered up version of the regular card. So, let's say they do have a, let's say they have an 89 Jerry Rice. There'll be 89 Jerry Rice, then there'll be 90 like LTD Jerry Rice, and it's just going to be plus one stats to everything. It's like powering them up. Now, one of the key things that they did mention in today's stream is that if you try to power up one of those set legends, the thing with them is, is that they cannot be powered up until their next card comes out. So let's say there's 89 Jerry Rice and 90 Jerry Rice LTD. You can power up the 89, but you cannot power up the 90. So then you might wonder, well, why would I ever get the LTD then if I can't power them up? When they drop another Jerry Rice, like a 93, 94 or something, you can then add him to the power up. So pretty much you can't power them up in the early stages, but as they get upgrades, it won't it won't cap you later on. So I really don't see the point of having the LTD, to be honest with you. I think I'd rather just power up the initial card. Hopefully there's some cool aspects to it that there's a reason to do it, but I guess we will figure that out. But yeah, it's going to be pretty cool that we're getting midweek now. Go down below, comment down below predictions you guys have. I feel like we might see a Marcus Allen. I was We got one early last year. It would be nice to see another Marcus Allen in the game. As well as, I would like to see Lawrence Taylor, of course, but I don't think we'll get that early. The legends I really look for every year, like everyone else, all I really want is a Lawrence Taylor, a Deion Sanders, a Randy Moss, Sean Taylor. Those are the guys I'm looking for. Of course, now for my team specifically, I take a few things. I mean, a Shannon Sharp would be cool. Uh, a Ray Lewis nice and early would be cool. There's a few things I would like, regardless of who it is. But I just hope one of them, at least one of them is good. You know, I don't really care if the other ones are suck or I don't want them for my team. But as long as there's always like one banger one or one pretty good one, it's fun to always do a video on. And then add them to the squad. Also, guys, there will be no solo battles this week. So, guys, there will be no solo battles yet. They are still not ha they're still not up yet. They're a little bit behind on that, I guess. I don't know what the... I forgot what the issue was with, like, rewards and things were delayed. But no solo battles just yet. Which just kind of sucks. I know a lot of people are solo battle grinders. And a lot of people actually want to go ahead and play these. And me, myself, for the beginning of the year, would love to have started some solo battle. Get the grind going. Pick up some coins. Try to get as much stuff as I can. But we can't play them yet. And I know, like I said, for the solo battle grinders, it's definitely not too fun from that aspect like i know i know for guys that don't play online like you guys aren't like maybe you're not too competitive or you don't like playing online like you're not good at it yet or you're still working on it and solo battles kind of like your little escape to get some coins and play something kind of like towards a bigger goal but kind of sucks they're behind on that hopefully they can pick it up and get us to our regular you know schedule routine of what we do like picking up this doing this getting content on mondays there was no flashbacks today which does kind of suck. I thought for the first Monday we would have got flashbacks. Guys, we also didn't get the Superstar MVP stuff. We got none of the above. I don't know why they didn't go ahead and give us any of that. It does kind of suck. We got no anything. So, we're expecting a few players, guys. We're expecting Julio, probably as DLTD. Uh, Zeke as a MVP master, kind of like a, kind of like the Lamar. Zeke, Julio, and there is one more guy. Oh, Miles Garrett. And then there is a Minka Fitzpatrick, who I believe will be an 86. So, Minka should be really good. Probably not as good as Matthew. Although, I think they do play different positions in this game. But... Regardless, it's going to be super fun. Now, we do have our Twitch pack. I see that there. It's bothering me. Let's just go open it. But moving on from that, guys, there is a few more things here. So alternate playbooks are coming for all you guys who uh, like that kind of stuff. Alternate playbooks will be super cool in terms of what you can do, play with some extra stuff, and for you guys looking for 
specific stuff. In terms of Superstar MVPs and that stuff, I was hoping for the Tuesday uh, release or today, and it obviously didn't happen. But in terms of it being released, they did announce it will be coming out Friday, which is kind of far. I mean, they're really going to make us wait till Friday, almost a whole week between drops. I mean, I kind of hope we get it earlier. Like I said, flashbacks aren't here yet. Flashbacks may be pushed back to next week as well. So it seems like this first week, I guess they're going to be using this week to kind of catch up on whatever they were delayed on, get themselves caught up, give us some midweek legends to shut us up for a little bit. And then maybe next week, starting this Friday, Super Sun MVP, get us some legends, then go ahead and get us the flashbacks, veterans, maybe heavyweights next week. And then we start our regularly scheduled content. At that point, the season's about to start as well. So that's when we'll probably start getting into the, the whole hang of things. And guys, also, they will be doing alternate playbooks. Alternate playbooks are super cool. So when those do drop into the game, for all you guys who like that kind of stuff, should be fun to have in the game. Now, how we get them, I imagine it's going to be a store option over here. Go to training and go in there and go ahead and pick up whatever you need and do your whole stuff here. I believe that's where they usually keep stuff like that. Or they'll do a set for, which they have done, I believe, in the past. But it really just depends. So guys, in terms of the uh, the lock that a muck glitch that's been going on, I believe they are working on that. They did say in the stream that they were going to be working on that and trying to get that fixed. I know it was fixed for me and a bunch of guys, but then it seems like the issue's popping up again. I got kicked out of mutt today for a second, and it kind of, like, how it happened the first time, I got really scared, but I'm still good, but for all you guys struggling, I know the pain. I was locked out for the first five days of Madden, which is, like, the worst possible time to be locked out. So hopefully they do get this fixed soon. Also, they're working on a bunch of bugs, like... The Mud Squads glitch, which I know a lot of you guys who are Mud Squads players are probably pissed off about, you know, where you can't, like, pick some certain plays aren't working, certain certain players aren't reacting right, certain menus are lagging out, the yard lagging out. Like, there's just a bunch of stuff right now that's having some issues and bugs, but, again, first week, trial and error. They're going to be working on all that, hopefully, and getting into all that, so we can only hope that that's all fixed pretty much soon. And now, yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it for These things pretty much are the Legends, so this week we can pretty much just expect the Legends and Superstar MVPs few good players that's friday legends should be wednesday so i guess tomorrow we're gonna have nothing it seems like uh only content wednesdays friday and wednesday friday saturday so i mean that's not a bad content schedule it's just that the next two days we're not gonna have anything uh new in terms of mutt now i do want to open up this weekly fantasy pack guys i've had this sitting here i've been wanting to open it. it's been bugged me i want to do it on a video though so let's open it up right here and let's see what we can get could could be good i mean i did get jj one out of this pack so you never really know these packs could be absolute heat and with the first card here we get a low elite probably 81 jarvis landry we get a grid here, 82 to Sean Watson for real, and a legend. Damn, that was not good. Four bucks down the drain, but I'm pretty sure Deshaun Watson goes to like 35K, 38K. Okay, that's not bad, I guess. We'll take that. But guys, that is it. that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know who you predict for the legends. Uh, like I said, I would like a Marcus Allen. Uh, I can see like a Kevin Green this week, like a Mark, uh, maybe a Mark Salon, a Kevin Green, and maybe like a, ooh, who's that cornerback we always get, Mel Blunt, or uh, that guy from the Raiders, who's that guy, Willie, Willie, Willie Green, Willie, uh, Willis, I don't know guys, don't kill me, comment down below, those are kind of the guys I could expect, those are usually some uh, few day one drops, and just quick little pro tip here guys, do not open up Superstar MVP packs when the players come out not worth it these packs are pretty much horrible they just let you do the set so if you want to get the players done through a set and you want to pay that go ahead but if you guys are looking to pick up coins make sure down below to muttreserve.com make sure you use caputal for 15 percent off your order and yeah way cheap way better than buying packs you guys better enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace